Hello and welcome to another Applied Logistics 2 tutorial. In this video, I will only talk about the spatial storage. And as you can see, we have a really large structure there and a really small one there. And I will go through the items required, go through the power requirements and rules around crafting or building the structure. So, but first, Let's start with the two blocks that you will need and a few items. First of all, we need the special IO port. So this port is what will capture and also put back a contained area or what to call it. So it will capture whatever you want within the structure. So the, you only need one of these. It's you can think of this as the controller for the special storage. And next thing is that we need lots of special py pylons. And when I say lots, I'm it depends on how large of a structure you want to capture. So if you want to have a really large one like this, then you will need tons of it or you should have but well that has to do with the power requirement and i will go through that a little later um, but it's quite costly when you go up in size in both terms of power and resources and next thing to talk about is the size of the structure what how large structure do you need and depending on that is what storage cell you will use. So first of all, we have the two cubed spatial component. This is like a storage component for normal storage, flux pearls and engineering processors. And with one of those, we can craft the two cubed spatial storage cell. With this storage cell, you can capture at most a 2x2x2 two by two by two area. If you have anything larger than that area, you will need to step up to the next size. Four of these gives us a 16 cubed spatial component, which in turn will, will give us a 16 cubed spatial storage cell. With this one, you can capture a uh, maximum size 16 by 16 by 16 and that's exactly what I've built here so that's the maximum size you can capture with a 16 cubed should be quite enough for most people but there's also 128 cubed special component and yeah you craft it with 4 16 cubed I won't test it, my world is uh, laggy as it is, <laughs> but when we go through the 16 cubed size over there, you will uh, at least get a feel for how tricky it can be to use, to even get, uh, get the power acquired for this, this large structure. Note that if I just extend the, uh, this structure by one block, I will need a 128 cubed. The 16 cubed is only up to 16 by 16 by 16. So it can at most capture this size. And basically everything that's two blocks uh, bigger than this one will require a 16 cubed. So I guess this will be the most common one used for most of you. Now let's talk about the spatial, spatial containment structure. What we have here is the smallest size you can have. It's a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. And when I and you can see these pylons are only too long, but the structure is one, two, three blocks tall. And three long and three wide. But that's the smallest size we can have. If I were to place, for example, 
Yeah, you can you can actually expand it in all directions so you can see. It will only capture the center part because it's only what's contained by the pylons. So if we take a two cubed component in here, and I will talk about power shortly. Uh, Let me just start talk about the containment boundaries first. When I now hit a button or provide it with a redstone signal, it will capture what's within the boundary box. And within means below that one and above that one and, and so on. So this is a smaller size and we can put it back just by doing the same thing again. Click. Okay, let's get a new one. But we can expand it. This is the maximum size for a two cubed. So we can have, well, you guessed it, a two by two. So if I have one block higher or to any side. Now we ran into a problem, power. Let me just exchange this energy cell to a new one and we'll dig into that in a little while. Now we can capture the 2x2x2 two by two by two, and as you can see all other blocks outside the 2x2x2 two by two by two is still there. So let's take it back. Thank you. And a new one. Now if I were to expand this one block we can't do anything because now we need it three wide and that means that we have to use the 16 cubed. Oh, the power usage, yeah, right. Required power using these energy cells. Now they won't last for very long, but at least now it works. Place it back. And we need more power again. Okay, this... Uh, this isn't going very good with the power. So let's talk about power. It's an important part of the special, uh, special storage. Looking in the IO port will tell you most what you need. So we have stored power. This is due to how many energy cells we have. So now we have more stored power and maximum power available in the energy cells. Required power here you can see 128 kilo, so 128,000 AE, and we have 600 maximum. So power-wise, it's not a problem, but we have one more thing, efficiency. If you noticed before, when it was smaller, uh, let's see, we can go back to the smallest, to the small size. 100% efficiency. But as soon as we start to reach out to the sides, let's say one more and one more. Now we start to lose efficiency. And if I just continue to grow it, we will lose efficiency even more and rather quickly. So how can we do this? Efficiency only means that we need more power to run it. So simply add more pylons. The pylons need to be at least two blocks, as you can see, not valid and valid. And now it's connected. So with more of these, now we're back to 100 efficiency. Let's, I wonder where the limit was, 84. And one more gave us 89. 94, yeah, we needed this one as well. 100. And now we're back to down to 78,000 instead of 400,000. So I guess you want to try to reach 100% if you can, but it's quite costly in terms of material. If we take a look at the recipe again, you need a lot of fluix, and this is only for one pylon. And we need plenty. <laughs> Another thing to note is that 
we don't have to build it in three axes like that. We can also build it like this, perhaps. Oh, we can do like that. Still the same, 100% efficiency, 78,000. So it doesn't really matter how you build it as, my t as far as my testing goes. As long as you have lots of pylons and keep it to the contained area. And we can have it like that and like that. It doesn't really matter. The height is as high as the highest block and same thing goes for every every axis. Okay, so that's power, that's efficiency and how they are related. And one more thing to cover before we go to the big structure channels. Now you can see here I'm using smart cables to make this easy and visible. IO port require, requires one and each pylon also requires one. So in case you're running out of channels, try to focus on getting more pylons to the long long sides. So if you can, uh, for example, skip one of these and just continue on this path instead, it might be better because you can save power uh, channels and still have power and efficiency as good as you can. Of course, provided that you keep the same height and length and everything. But one channel per pylon, focus on the long ones and save channels if you can. If you need more than eight channels, so here I'm using one, two, three and four channels. If you need more, well, then you will need to use an ME controller. So I will fly around and show off this large structure. So on this one, oh, let's power it. On this side, we have eight channels. Here we have eight channels all filled up and with max uh, length. And here we have six channels. All these are required to take me to 100% efficiency. If I were to remove that one, that's the top six ones, we will directly lose the efficiency and require power 109 million AE. Let's uh, exchange that again and put back this one. And as soon as it catches up, we are down to 6 million AE and 100% efficiency. So quite costly in terms of power still, but you want to reach as high up on efficiency as possible. I think it's worth it. <laughs> so now let's try it. And we can have a few words about what we can capture in this. Here I have a uh, demo <laughs> demo building. Uh, one, this one won't be moved since it's in the outer box. Same thing here. And this one as well. And I think the top one is also outside the box. We have chests and you can have, I think we can have furnace as well. Let's try it with some coal and ore. That's good. So now we can see, um, we can also have, I think all AE2 uh, I blocks are also allowed. And then after that, it's up to the to each and every mod to add itself to this list of added items to move. So yes, because um, 
Yes, because they work together doesn't mean they are all allowed to be moved within this uh, special system. So now let's see. Do we have stored power? Uh, we don't have enough power. Max power, 6.4 million. We have enough max, but the stored is not enough. So let's exchange this dense energy cell. And now we have 6.38, so quick. See how quickly it disappeared. This one was out. Oh, here was another one. This is outside, and this is outside. And the top one as well. So, this is the maximum size for a, for a 16. You don't have to have it this high. You can remove a few. Saving a lot of power. Every every block extra in height is uh, will do a big difference. You see, down to 5 million. But we're out of power, so... Four new dense ones, and we should be fine. Okay, let's place it back. Oops, we... Uh, <laughs> I removed a few. How many were there? Were there... Three, I think? Let's try. Nope, was it one more? <laughs> So make sure you are uh, putting it back into a valid... No, was it? And... Okay, now we should be fine, I think. Let's turn... Wait for it to turn purple. That means it's okay. And we're out of power again. As you can see, it's very costly. There, we have it back. So make sure that the size is exactly the correct one. I mean, this is the largest one, so you have to have a larger size. And yep, this one is still working. It didn't work while it was gone, of course, but now it's working again and stuff are still here. So I think that pretty much covers most aspects of uh, spatial storage. If you have any questions about this subject, then feel free to ask me and I will try to assist. And uh, yeah, but it should be it. I think so. Thanks for watching. I hope you see you in the next one. And if any of these blocks were uh, new to you, then check the playlist or the video description for more information about those. Okay, take care. Bye bye.